Hello, this is Mike from Cornerstone. I want to thank you for joining me again for another moment this week. Um, I want to continue on the conversation we had last week about uh, being a champion for transformation. And I want to move a little bit away from eyes up and what that means about keeping your eye on the goal and start talking about the, the team you have around you. Um, I grew up in sports my whole life when I couldn't when I couldn't play anymore. I coached. I coached uh, soccer, coached basketball, coached hockey. Um, and frankly, in my house, if it ain't hockey and if it ain't soccer, it ain't as far as my kids were concerned. I had two of them who uh, played overseas uh, soccer and one played overseas in hockey. Um, so yes, those two sports were big. Um, I want to brag on one of my sons, Aaron. Uh, Aaron was a defenseman uh, in soccer. Again, he played overseas. He was excellent at what he did. Um, he was a sweeper back, could chase you down in a heartbeat. You didn't get through him. That's the sweeper's job. And uh, uh, he played that well. But he was also an incredible defenseman when it came to hockey. Um, he was fast as lightning. Um, if you got within his reach, he would pickpocket the puck away from you and get it up into his offensive team. Um, interesting though that Aaron would always shy away from the offense. He would shy away from his slap shot and always fall back on a wrist shot uh, whenever, he, whenever he was given the opportunity to uh, shoot. Um, so uh, the kids went to a, a camp, actually it was almost all summer long. I would drop them off in the morning and, and they would just work on skills and, and get in shape and whatever. And when we got back together in the fall, uh, we put the team back together and we had our first practice. And all of a sudden we heard this pow and we looked up. And sure enough, it was Aaron. Slap shot after slap shot on net, just as hot as the last one. And I remember one of the coaches going, hey, Aaron, where did that come from? And he goes, I don't know, coach. I figured it out. And Aaron did become that offensive threat that we all knew that he could be. That was really rewarding, not just as a father, but as a coach. Um, and again, I learned lessons. I learned life lessons and, and leadership lessons when I, when I find myself in these situations. And I come to realize, you know, I've worked on some very large um, transformation pro um, projects in the federal government. But you know what? It wasn't me that did it. I had a team. And um, I had a team underneath me that were smarter than me. I surrounded myself with, with smart people on purpose. Uh, I talked about eyes up. Okay, my job was to have the eyes up. But you know what? I had a great project manager who was excellent at eyes down. And um, really what we had to do is we had to figure out our team. Okay, we had to look at our roster and um, find out where some of the weaknesses were, especially when we were doing some of the big deals. Um, and uh, my job as their leader was to help them develop those skills. And uh, that sometimes it took training, sometimes it just took th on the job training, throwing them at us saying, look, get in there and figure it out. And, uh, and uh, we really did have a, a formidable team um, when we were supporting one of our agencies. So I guess what I wanna say here is you've gotta have a team and you've gotta learn to teach that team to play as a team. And um, sometimes you're going to have to spend time with individual players to help them get up to the level they want to be. It's not This is not where you need to have them, although that's part of it. They all want to contribute and you want to get them to the level where they can contribute to the team. Work with your individuals and teach them how to play as a team. Honestly, there's nothing you can't tackle. And you learn to trust their abilities and that becomes rewarding as a coach. I can trust my players to do what they need to do when it's time to do it. Have a good week. Um, I look forward to talking to you next week. Bye-bye.